So hey guys, today I am going to the supermarket. This is like the biggest supermarket in the town I live in and I'm here with Corinne Kelly and we're gonna look through the entire store basically and just show you what it looks like. Um, it's a really rural area so it's probably not nearly as big as other supermarkets but hopefully it'll be interesting enough for somebody who has never seen a Korean supermarket, especially not one in the middle of nowhere. So when you first come in, this is like the vegetable, like vegetables and fruit, it's on the left. Um, and it's basically yeah, one long aisle. Um, they don't have as much variety as I'm probably used to, but... Mm. Is this on sale? Yeah, probably. Okay, let's grab. Yeah, I get this stuff reasonably often. It's like gammon, but that's like seven, like eight dollars maybe. Um, but it's okay. It's one of the few cheap, cheap options for good meat you get here. What's all this stuff over here? It's like Korean soup kind of thing. So that's wow. seaweed soup and that's... I don't know what to call it, but it's kind of spicy. But we put all the vegetables and that's like rice soup. So it's like slurpy like soup. All you have to do is boil it. Ah. Do you want to try chicken feet? Try what? Chicken feet. Chicken feet? Yes. No, why would I want to try really? chicken feet? Oh my lord. Chicken feet. Why would I want to eat that? It's delicious actually. I'm just thinking this is another meat. Can't believe you, Kelly. Why? Asking me if I want to eat chicken feet. I thought you might want to try. Chicken feet. <laughs> Kimbap. Oh, kimbaps. Yeah. I've heard about those. These are really just like authentic Korean food that puts like, I guess, reddish, eggs, carrots, all those kind of vegetables, wrap it in rice and can and roll it and slice it. It's really um, easy, but it's, it's really nutritious. So a lot of people eat it when they're really busy. I'm told kimbaps are also great because you can put almost anything you want in them, basically. Right. So they're really popular. Not delicious. Oh, and here's the meat section. Oh, yes. This is like the section that you always come to, but it's really expensive. But sometimes there's sales, like, ooh. They are kind of sales. Like there's a sale there, which is not bad. 300 grams of beef, it looks like it's in strips, so you can have it over time, not in one go. Um, oh, there's some steaks down there too. Oh, and more, oh my lord, there's lots, lots of sales. Um, this is Australian beef. Generally, Australian beef is probably the cheapest you can get in Korea. Um, it's a lot cheaper than the actual Korean beef, and that looks like a steal. I'm gonna probably take that one. That's like $7 for a steak, which is pretty uncommon here. So this right here is all the Korean beef, which is very, 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 very expensive. Um, $26,000 is actually pretty cheap for Korean beef, actually. I'm pretty surprised. Usually it's closer to $40,000. So yeah, that's shockingly affordable, actually. But Korean beef is actually amazing. I've only had it once, and to be honest, it's probably the best I've ever had. Somewhere around here, I got frozen salmon before, and oh, there it is. My most recent life hack was getting reasonably affordable salmon. And this is, this is like 15,000 won, which is probably about 12, 13, $13 maybe. Um, but yeah, I was happy I finally found affordable salmon. In Korea, salmon has been like recently expensive due to the Russia thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So this is like other types of fish. I don't know what type of fish they are. That's a mackerel. Um, mackerel is one of the other fish I have quite a lot because it's my favorite fish and it's pretty affordable here. Oh yeah, and then all the korean -y things, squids and frog's legs. I've been buying those recently, they're super good. Raspberry pastries, but they're really good and they're only like $7 for like 20 or 16, I don't even know, I can't count. But they're really good and they're really pretty cheap. Korea dessert, like no better naming convention here. <laughs> it's like Korean version of traditional sweets, but also kind of like, mm, I don't know how to explain, but it's, it really depends on what kind of things you like. Do you like something like really sweet but not sweet? Sweet but not sweet. Like sweet but it's not a thing, it's nutty sweet. Nutty sweet. Yeah. Yeah, nutty sweet. Very good. This is like the ice cream section. There is a surprising amount of ice cream here, but they come in really, really small tubs and it's probably kind of expensive. Hagen Dazs is kind of expensive in Korea, in Korea though. Most of it's kind of affordable. Yeah, this Just is only that like brand. $5 for this tiny, tiny little tub. It's like $5. It's 
so, so it's delicious. People do pay for that. Like the ones down here look pretty good, but I don't know what they are. It's a cheese flavored. Cheese? Yeah. I take it back. It's not good. So down here are all of the dairy products, things like milk, which I can probably do with more of, to be honest. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of other dairy things here, like milk is pretty affordable. I mean, oh, what, 5,000 what? Yes, yeah, kind of expensive, I guess, five dollars, three pounds, maybe. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, compared to the UK, crazy expensive milk. Oh, yeah. But I mean, you know, when you have it with your cereal in the morning, it's okay to buy once every couple of weeks. Um, I th these are all like yogurts and stuff, I guess. It's like, we have a lot of flavored milk in Korea, so that's a banana flavor. Flavored milk? Yeah, this strawberry. Do you know what worries me, Kelly? What? what worries me is they call it flavored milk, but the price makes me think it's not milk because it's half the price of the actual milk. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, uh, your good old Coca-Cola, Pepsi. Yeah. Cream from France, woohoo. It's expensive, but I need it. La creme, indeed. Quality professional. I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Professional quality, apparently. Um, but yeah, it's real, real French cream from France. It's even got the made in France thingy on it. So like, these are all Korean like juices, like different juice flavors. I don't know what's most what's the most popular here, but they do have some interesting ones. That I have that one because oranges is so oranges is like everyone's favorite. So maybe that. Is that juice or squash? Just juice. It's not squashed, it's, it's like, juice. it's juice though, it's not squashed. Oh. They do have some interesting ones down here, like I normally get this one, which is like apple, because I'm an alcoholic and mix it with soju. But they got some, like, tomato and oh, it's aloe vera drink, like... That flavor is... Melon. Melon? But people, they market it as aloe vera. That's melon? Yeah, that's melon flavor, but they didn't say it's melon. So they say it's aloe vera flavored. Why don't they say it's melon? I have no idea why. And this is just water because in Korea and China and maybe Japan too, I don't know, but you can't really drink the water out of the taps, so all the supermarkets have massive things of water just because you need to buy water to drink it, basically. Um, I cook with water from the tap, but I don't drink it straight up. I actually just like boil from the tap to make tea and then drink I don't really buy them. Yeah, okay. So, not everyone does, and I mean, you can drink it, but it's advised to get it. I my mother. My mother does <clears> the <throat> same. Oh, what was I going to do? Ah, oh, yes. My favorite part of the store. I thought? Maybe. Okay, so the other day, I actually tried uh, this one and this one back to back to see what the difference was, and... I actually like this one, and I don't like the other one straight. But I'm also going to try this one. Soju though? Yeah. That's your favorite? What's flavored? Flavored. Grapefruit. Oh. You just wonder what it is. Do you want to buy it? Maybe. Okay. More the merrier, right? <laughs> what actually is soju, Kelly? Soju is like, you know, every country has its own traditional drinks and that's soju in Korea. It's really affordable. That's actually a big difference. It's crazy cheap. It's like one dollar per bottle and one bottle is more than enough to get you happy. Oh, look at this. Kelly's favorite place. Oh no. Where are the monstrosities? <laughs> Toffee nut latte almonds? <laughs> I don't know how to Mayonnaise flavored almonds. This is ridiculous. It's like mayonnaise mixed with like chili pepper. Mayonnaise mixed with chili pepper? Okay, that doesn't really make a difference. I, I, I still don't like it. Is that tobacco? Yeah. Tobacco flavored almonds. This is utterly ridiculous. I'm so done. Cherry? Oh, that looks good. Cherries. What? Not <laughs> Mint chocolate almonds. What is this? It's ridiculous. I know. It's utterly ridiculous. Yeah, so this aisle is like the instant stuff aisle, I guess. But there's also shitloads of instant noodles. Um, the selection of this store is actually a little bit smaller than the other store in town, but there's still a lot of noodles. If there's one thing you get in Korea, there is just a ridiculous number of flavors of instant noodles. What's your favorite ramen? Is it? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this one. This is my favorite one. I get this one all the time. The non-spicy one. Non-spicy. It's the only non-spicy one. Yeah, the weird thing about these ramens, actually, is all of them have on the back, like, a spice rating or something. Um, but it's really weird, because even my one, this is not spicy whatsoever, but on the back it still says it's a 6 out of 8, and I'm like, but it's not even spicy. 
Um, so it means absolutely nothing. If you're here and you're buying instant noodles, just ignore the spice rating because it lies to you. It's not true. Yeah, the only thing I can say is if the packaging is like black or red, maybe it's usually a bit more spicy than the other ones because red equals danger, I guess. Hi, Kelly. Hi. I think we're done, I think. But yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.